Assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to math class i'm your teacher azra imtiaz today is friday 10th september 2021 and topic is multiplication of fractions let's discuss objectives of the lesson by the end of the lesson students you will be able to multiply fraction by a fraction and multiply mixed number by a fraction or mixed number class task is exercise 3b question number 19 g and i part on note okay students prepare your new page draw margin lines write day date class work topic exercise and question number you will fill topic index as well after that you will write question question is solve these multiplications making sure each product is in its lowest term g part it's 1 by 4 into 2 by 3 into 6 by 7 according to rule multiply numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator so first of all we will place is equal sign then multiply all numerators 1 into 2 into 6 then multiply denominators 4 3 and 7 then we will multiply 1 into 2 it's 2 2 into 6 is 12 and we will get 84 as denominator now students look at this fraction this is proper fraction and you know proper fraction cannot be changed into mixed number now we will check can this fraction be reduced yes because both are even numbers so this fraction can be reduced by 12 6 2 but here we will use 12 when we will divide 12 by 12 we will get 1 and when we will divide 84 by 12 we will get 7 so what will be the answer 1 over 7 now next part i part now students look at this question now in this question we have two mixed numbers and one fraction so here we are multiplying mixed number and fraction so first of all we will change mixed numbers into improper fractions now place is equal sign Now multiply five by three. It's fifteen, and fifteen plus one. It's sixteen over three. Multiply. Now next mixed number. Five times six. It's thirty, and thirty plus five. It's thirty-five over six. Multiply three over five. Now we have three fractions. now according to rule we will multiply all numerators and all denominators 16 multiply 35 into 3 after multiplication we will get 1680 as numerator and 90 as denominator students you can see this fraction can be reduced by 10 because both numbers have zero at its last place so if we reduce both numbers by 10 we will get 168 as numerator and 9 as denominator okay students here we will divide because this is an improper fraction 
let's divide after division you will get 18 as whole number 6 as numerator and 9 as denominator so write answer 18 whole 6 over 9 okay students you can see 6 and 9 both numbers can be divisible by 3 yes so we will reduce these two numbers by 3 now 3 twos are 6 and 3 three threes are 9 so it's the answer of i part now draw finishing line this is your homework exercise 3a question number 2 on book okay students i hope you understand this concept thank you